Hi guys, my name is Brennan Childs. I am a pianist here on YouTube. I thought it'd be a cool idea to do a little get to know me Q&A type video. But before we get started, I do wanna thank all of you guys for subscribing to my channel and supporting me. I never thought in a million years that my channel would take off like this. But piano is something that is really personally important to me. I've been playing piano most of my life. It brings me so much happiness and joy that the fact that I can share that with other people and then they can experience that too, there's nothing else in the world like it. So I just wanna take a second to say thank you all and I hope you enjoy getting to know me a little bit. I like the platform itself of YouTube and the video making aspect. The reason why I wanted to start a YouTube channel is because I thought of it as a good tool to not only help people, but to also get myself out there and say, hi, I exist, this is what I do, piano is my passion. The cool thing I like about YouTube is you find people who also have the same interests as you. I started piano lessons when I was five years old. I had asked my parents recently about this because I was wondering, did I ask them to play piano or did they persuade me? Because you know, like when kids learn instruments, sometimes it's like their parents are wanting them to do it or it's coming from the kids. And my dad had said that actually, I was really wanting to learn the violin or where I'm from, we call it the fiddle. So I wanted to learn the fiddle and I was really obsessed with this bluegrass singer named Ralph Stanley. And then he suggested piano as maybe like an easier instrument for a five-year-old to start with. And I started lessons at five and I did eight years of lessons with a teacher once a week. Every year you have a recital. like I didn't really like sheet music or theory or learning any of that stuff and I just wanted to kind of play my own music and write my own songs or it was just easier for me to learn by ear rather than looking at the sheet music and learning it that way over and over but I liked writing my own music so I started doing that during the lessons I was like okay I think I want to dive more into this so at that time we my family had actually moved from my hometown, which is in Southern Virginia, and then moved up to the DC area. So as a result of that, I stopped having a teacher. I was kind of on my own at that point, and I myself went to YouTube and started learning songs that way, started writing music more. self-teaching from 14 to now. So now I'm 25. So in total, I've played piano for about 20 years, which is freaking crazy. Yeah, that's pretty much how my piano journey started. So I have a pretty good knowledge of music theory, not super advanced or anything, but when it comes to learning music, I just do it by ear. This is a good question. I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite song to play, but I have a lot of favorite composers. So as far as new composers, I lean towards film soundtracks. So here's to name a few. And then I like doing my own music. That's probably my favorite to play because I don't have to think about it. I just, it comes from me and I, I know it. Whereas with another song, it is fun to play other people's pieces, but my own music is just like another level. I have a full-time job during the week, which is doing like nonprofit work. And then I have my piano career. So I do teaching, YouTube, writing my own music, all of that I kind of bunch into one. So mainly two jobs, the piano job and then the nonprofit. 
my channel was monetized in 2020. And so it has been making income since 2020, like steadily income, but it's not enough to live off of, especially in the DC area. I'm grateful for everything that I've gotten from YouTube. Anything that I get from helping people with music, I, I appreciate. So whatever it is, honestly, the money, I'm, I think it is a good tool for creators to keep making videos and keep making content, um, but it's not like I live off of the money solely. I definitely want to keep making videos for you guys and be able to do it long term. And one of the things I decided to ultimately do is to make a buy me a coffee, which is like a website where you can contribute to the channel and make like a one off donation to me. And it does help me out a lot to ensure that I can keep making these videos for you guys. So I will link that in the description box below if any of you want to consider donating to the channel. I have not gone to college for music. I have not studied music in school. I just had the eight years of lessons that I talked about and then the rest was self-taught. I am grateful to my parents because they exposed me to so many different types of genres. I would say I listen to things from every genre of music. My personal favorite, either film scores or indie rock type music. That's my tip would be to play what you enjoy playing, simple as that, and don't feel like you have to have like a formal piano education. I mean, you make your own rules. The point of music is to enjoy it and have fun and help other people and collaborate with other people. So do what you think is best in terms of how you want to learn piano. First of all, thank you. I never understood why YouTubers don't engage with their audience. A lot of mine are people requesting things or people asking for advice on the video. So to not answer it, I feel like it would just be like someone's talking to you and you're just ignoring them. While I will say that it is pretty time consuming to go through and answer all the comments. So I can understand with a bigger YouTuber why they wouldn't necessarily engage with the audience just because it's a lot of work. But I think no matter the size of my channel, I would definitely make an effort to engage with you guys. So I guess we'll see as far as the future of my channel, how responsive I am with the comments, but I feel like I do pretty good. I never go more than like a couple days without checking the comments and answering them. No, I personally don't like sheet music at all. I've always been like that. This is just how I am. I think because I have a good musical ear that it's just quicker and faster for me to try and figure something out by ear. And then if I were to go and look at the sheet music and learn the sheet music, it would just take me twice as long. But I, I do have like a basic knowledge of how to read music, but it's just easier for me to not do that. I actually have a Yamaha Grand G3 piano which is my sweet, sweet baby. I love her so much. I'm in an apartment, so I can't fit my piano in the apartment. So it's at my parents' house. But when I'm there, I definitely play it a lot. In the meantime, I have this right here is my Kawhi concert performer, and it's a digital piano. It's like a full-size piano, almost like an upright keyboard. Um, and there's a lot of features to it. It's kind of, it's older, it's an older model for sure. But my dad had it, and then I just ended up, when I moved, I wanted to have something that I could play in the apartment and to shoot videos with. So I opted for, for this one. I love it. I think it's freaking awesome. So a grand piano is definitely a much richer acoustic sound. So if I were to have the choice, I would always go for the acoustic, but I will say the benefit of having a keyboard is you can control the volume. So like I said, I'm in an apartment and I don't want to be irritating the neighbors next door so I can just turn this bad boy down a little bit and then still be able to play. Whereas a piano, you can't really do that. So that's one of the, the cons of a real piano, but I would say if you have the chance to get an acoustic, whether that's an upright or a grand, you should definitely go for it. Not enough. That's probably the thing I struggle with the most is keeping my discipline in on practicing the song. Because sometimes I just get like, Ugh, I don't wanna do it. But something that helps me a lot is having a personal interest in the song. So if I really like the song, I will learn it quicker and I will make sure that I get my practice time in. But if it's something that I don't really like playing or I'm just doing, cause I, I'm making a video on it, it will definitely drag out and I will procrastinate. I probably practice maybe 10 to 15 hours a week. 
something like that. Maybe less, it depends on the week. If I had the choice to place piano somewhere like otherworldly, like, like that question, I would probably choose like bringing a piano on a mountaintop. Like some people have done this on YouTube where they have a piano and they're at some amazing view with like a beach or they're up on a skyscraper. That would be what I personally would do. Maybe one day. I would say my favorite bands would be Coldplay, Radiohead, and Arcade Fire. Trifecta for me. And then as far as my favorite composers would be Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. And then in terms of classical composers, I would say Eric Satie is my favorite. I also do like Claude Debussy, if I'm saying that right. I've never once seen an anime. I've done Howl's Moving Castle, beautiful, beautiful music, but I just have yet to see one single anime in my entire life. I've heard that Spirited Away is really good. My brother likes that one. And then I also want to see Howl's Moving Castle. So if you guys have any recommendations on animes, you can definitely leave them for me below because I'm a newbie. I decide on my videos based on a few factors. In general, just for the success of my channel, I have to look at what is gonna please the majority of my audience. So first I look at how popular the request is. Then I look at how difficult it is to learn because that's gonna factor in how much time it takes. My videos, as you know, are very long and thorough. And so I need to, if I'm gonna make a video on it, I have to know that it's gonna be successful on the channel because I'm putting basically about a week and a half into that one single video. So I look at that. And if a song is extra hard to learn, then sometimes I'll put that maybe on a back burner and then do a little bit of an easier song first, just to be more efficient with myself. I do have siblings. I'm one of four children. So I have an older brother, Devin, and he is actually very artistically talented. He has like a clothing company and he does collage work. And then I have me, so I'm the second oldest. Then I have a younger sister and then a younger brother. And I would say as a family, we're actually all pretty artistic, musical in some way. Like my little brother, he plays bass guitar. My sister and my mom, they sing and they can recognize like rhythm and learn things really quickly. Uh, so we do this thing in my family called jam nights where we all like just play an instrument and do music. But I would say as far as the most musically oriented, would be my dad, he plays piano, he plays guitar, he plays drums, and he, he was definitely an influence for me when I was a kid uh, because he was always playing music, always in bands, always doing musical stuff. So him and I are probably the most musically oriented in the family, but we're all pretty artistic. Not like officially, at different events and functions, I've played with other musicians and done music together, but I've never been like in a band officially. So if you guys want to start one, let me know. So I am 5'6". I think if you have a really good musical producer and they know what they're doing, they can oftentimes help an artist out. Like if you look, if you hear like pop, pop songs on the radio, you don't necessarily need to be like an amazing singer to be able to do that song, but the producers and the people that are making the music have to be top notch. So I think, yes, you can achieve something. It all depends on how you get your name out there. I mean, like people like all different types of musical genres. So even if something's not my cup of tea or your cup of tea, it might be someone else's cup of tea. So I think it's more about, not necessarily about talent, so to speak, but more about how you get yourself out there and how you introduce your music to people personally. If that's what you guys wanna see, then I'll definitely provide it. I have experimented with putting some of my originals out on YouTube just to see how they do. And I do plan to post more of my original music going forward. I have looked at doing classical pieces for tutorials. I, I noticed most of my videos are pretty modern. So I haven't really done any classical pieces except for an Eric Satie song, which was Jeune No Petit. So yeah, I'm, I'm open to it. All right guys, so that's all the questions. Hope you guys liked getting to know me a little bit. And let me know if you like this kind of video. I'm gonna experiment with doing more vlog style videos or, or get to know me type videos where I show my face more on the channel. So 
definitely let me know if you liked it or if you totally hated it and you think I should just shut up and get back to the other videos, let me know that as well. Just a reminder, it does help me out a ton if you guys subscribe to the channel. So if any of you out there are not subscribed yet, definitely consider doing so. It does help me out a lot.